Hi, hello, it's Erin, uh, Erin Ware, and I, first of all, I want to say thank you for the kind reception of my last video. I just feel like it was <laughs> well loved, um, at least by some of the people who watched it, and that's enough for me. I am happy you're here. If you're back, I'm happy you're here if you're new. <laughs> just hello, <laughs> welcome. I am today gonna talk about um, a new planner yes another one <laughs> um but i do i'll get into it more but i do think i'm going in the right direction i think i'm um getting more to what i actually need in my day-to-day -day life and it is a bullet journal which is kind of surprising so um that's this and i'll just give you a little sneak peek but at first i'm gonna really um, briefly talk about my history with bullet journaling <laughs> that you see here. Um, I first started, actually I haven't really looked at these so I'm looking at them with you for the first time uh, in a while. Let's take a moment and just think back to several years ago when bullet journaling was new-ish. Not brand new but it had been um, taken over uh, by a lot of people on YouTube, etc. <laughs> a lot of people um, making spreads that were super detailed and beautiful. There are a lot of people that still do that. I, I think that there's just a certain type of person who um, just like loves the bullet journaling system and they go for it and they go they go for it and <laughs> um all the this i think it's a it's a i think it's a great creative outlet for a lot of people i think that it's a place where someone might find um like a home for their creativity and they can do whatever they want within the pages um but for a lot of us that kind of effort put into a journal is um, a bit too much. Like uh, for me personally, I don't want to spend that much time in my journal. I love, sorry, I should say planner. I don't want to spend that much time in my planner. I want it to work for me. Not, I don't want to work for it. I do want it to be beautiful or aesthetically pleasing because that's important to me, but my artwork lives outside of my planner. I, I make artwork um, for my job. So I don't want to spend so much time in my planner. There's a spectrum and there's not any wrong way to do it. Where do I want to begin? So in 2018, I was leaving grad school and I had a baby in 2017. So he was about one year old when I was leaving. Um, yeah, 2018, like I was doing a 100 days project. <laughs> Yet Untold was my like blog back then. I don't have that website anymore. I let it go because I now have my name as my website. Um, yeah, so I think in this I was taking a lot of, oh, I like this page. So I was leaving grad school and I had a lot of ideas about where I was headed with my artwork and with like just all kinds of things. We were moving, we were moving to Savannah. So we were living in Vancouver. I went to school in Vancouver and we were moving back to Georgia. And so we had a lot of things <laughs> going on. Um, I was looking to see when we moved. It would have been later in Oh, here, let's move to Savannah. So I had just like so many moving parts to my life. I did, like we had a kid. And um, I, at the time I had been using a variety of planners. I, I had a traveler's notebook at the time, but the inserts that I had were the basic like weekly insert. Um, it wasn't really working for me back then and it still I think on its own doesn't really work for me the way I want it to so I was trying a lot of different things and I was watching a lot of YouTube videos I guess <laughs> um, I set up these weekly spreads that 
uh, helped me. I had a tracker. I mean, it's kind of, it's, it's kind of like um, surprising to see, I guess, that I was doing some of this stuff back then, like that long ago. <laughs> it feels like a really long time ago to me. Okay, so this page, which I might try again, maybe if I need to, but a million little things, it had to do with that 100 day project, which was just sort of every day trying to do something toward um, like making my, my website or my blog better or you know like art like having more artwork on it more um blog posts more whatever just whatever needed to go and so all these little things were parts of that so i had um like set goals schedule newsletter um make a free five-day class never did that i don't know what what the color coding is collect things already created for shop, clean out, um, pen, clean out Pinterest and organize for posting clean. I don't know what that means. So anyways, um, it was just a lot of little things that I wanted to do. Supposedly I did them, but I guess I didn't do them. Maybe they were just things to do and I color coded them. I don't know but it looks cool. And <laughs> I had a lot of weekly spreads. Um, I think I separated it by daily, oh, daily exam. And that would have been my like review of the day, tasks and events and priorities up at the top. I had a progress report here. I guess like a review. Anyway, like a weekly review. Pretty complex. A lot of drawing. Um, this is like, for the shop thank you notes that i never sent probably a monthly log that i never filled out as a moving checklist which probably was at least um partially helpful and then things of course always fall apart when you move i'm so interested in this i just want to keep looking at it but i'll have to look back at it another time i know you don't want to you don't want to be here all day, probably. So, but that's essentially it. I, I kind of worked out these um, spreads, mostly uh, mostly weekly spreads with some. There's a monthly, weekly. There's just some work. Like, I just was trying to figure out website stuff and art stuff. I like that illustration did um but yeah I mean not too bad not too bad but then um okay so let me go back a little bit I really loved this page <laughs> I was trying to launch stuff I don't think I ever got where I wanted it to be because I didn't finish this part but I did launch a lot of stuff I did have a podcast for a short time with a friend Oh yeah, we had a hurricane and I was, I was like, I guess my first hurricane. So I was like, what do I do? And I made a list for what you do when there's a hurricane coming. Um, anyway, so um, before I left Vancouver, way back in, you know, way back here, I went to um, Paper Yaw. Paper Yaw? I think Paper Yaw. I think that's right. And they had these brand new Midori notebooks. I'm pretty sure that they were brand new back then, at least out of, you know, I don't know how long they've been around in Japan, but at least out of Japan, I think they were pretty new. I don't know. I went ahead and bought this notebook. It's a dot grid and the little paper cover because I was enjoying bullet journaling so much. I wanted to make sure that I I had another notebook to move into. And so I think, how far did I get? I got to a certain point and I was just like, I'm done with this one. <laughs> Let's move to the next one. There's another 100 day project that I didn't do. <laughs> Spring cleaning. So this is kind of a continuation. Same old stuff. Same like, you know, just a whole lot of lists of things. 
Lots of things that I just never got back to, like setting up something like that. Where did it go? Like this sort of thing, making a nice spread for it and then never going back to it. That's what bullet journaling was for me. <laughs> um, it's so funny. I look at something like this and I feel like it was just yesterday. Anyway, um, packing list. Oh, I was having another baby. That's Evie. Yeah, so more of the same stuff. And then I think I got to a certain point, tried the game board. I got to a certain point and I think I was like just, I felt like I was just making weekly spreads. And now this is 2020. liked that pretty prettiness <laughs> Evangeline eats and that cute journaling needs okay so I think maybe I was trying to figure out what I was going to use next. Yeah, when I get to this point in a journal, I'm like ready to move on. Um, I did persevere in this one for a little while, probably because it's Midori. I just wanted to be loyal to it because I love these notebooks. Recent orders. I did have a um, my Etsy shop with printables in it at this time. Uh, I, I always liked this page, <laughs> the colors. I, um, <laughs> yes, anyway, I, um, did not stay in a bullet journal after this. So I was looking to see, I think I moved to, what did I move to? A Hobonichi, probably. When is this? Quarter three in 2020? All right, I'm pretty sure I moved to Hobonichi, cousin. So I did not keep bullet journaling I did not get back to bullet journaling until, um, so I used, what did I use? I've tried using the Hobonichi Cousin. I've tried using a Hobonichi A6. I've tried using a Take a Note Planner. I've tried a uh, Sterling Ink Common Planner last year in 2022. I had a Hobonichi A6. And it was not working for me. I could not make it work. I didn't know what it was, but every time I got into it, I just felt like it wasn't what I wanted to be using to plan. And part of it was the size, not so much the size of the paper, but the limitation of having one page per day um, just cramps my brain, I think, for, for planning. Even though I don't normally need more <laughs> than one page a day, it just, in my mind, um, my mind always skews towards scarcity. And so having only one page, it was like my mind could only see that. I could only have one page and not more. And I couldn't, it was a subconscious thing. This is not like logical. <laughs> it's not like um, something I can control, you know? I just felt like that. And even though I knew that that was probably plenty of room, I just couldn't get beyond that. And so I watched Dylan Mirzwenski's class on bullet journaling. It was like October of 2022. And she came out with this class. It's on Skillshare. It's still there. And I just recently watched it again and again, half of a time just to like get it right. So, um, 
it's such a good class and we have very similar brains, Dylan and I. And so everything that she was talking about, I was like, yes, absolutely. Yes, yes, yes. I think that's right. <laughs> I think this will help me. And the problem was, is that, you know, this was October. I had already ordered a Sterling Inc. Common Planner to be my work planner for the following year. So I did this. And then of course, you know, I, I had my big planner to work in. And so this was my daily log. What Dylan does is she has a separate daily log to the, um, like, her big bullet journal that has all of her collection pages and all of that. She just keeps a field notes as a daily log. And so this was kind of, I thought, well, I'll just keep a daily log and then I can put things in other places if I need to. And this was so freeing to me. I was using like smart, um, what is it? Smart bullets. Is that what they're called? Um, where you have different symbols for things like this means note. So I could just like write notes down. And of course, me being me, I have to, I have to make it pretty. <laughs> I can't just leave it plain. So I, um, yeah, I just had daily pages with lists of things. And this was actually helping me so much to stay on top of things. It was really good. And it took me right up until the end of the year and even into the next year with some of these like daily pages. I put all kinds of things in here. Like um, I, I put some recipes in here. There's a recipe. I put, there's a dream. There's, oh, just like a little bit of writing. And there's a kid drawing. Um, yeah. So everything went in here. It's notes from like a Zoom call or something. And yeah. So of course it faded out because I needed to be in my big planner that I had bought. <laughs> and, and spoiler alert, the common planner did not last me the year last year because I realized that it was so big that I was having trouble finding things. And I would make these, once again, I was making these lists and not ever getting back to them. And so I tried some other things and you can go back in my videos. I've basically listed every problem I've had and every solution I've tried um, since back then, which was, I don't know, the fall of last year. And so I got two planners for this year, a Hobonichi Weeks and a Hobonichi A6. And I know what you're thinking. You're like, why did you do that to yourself? And I thought I had a different method for using it. And it turned out that that wasn't good either. So I'm, I, use, I use it for a review notebook. It's more of a journal. And that works fine as a journal it's fine <laughs> but as a planner it was not fine and so i have now in january i got the in january because i did re i realized i needed some kind of system for planning work stuff i got this and i showed you that i've got a like a video about this um and i still love this i still love it and i still use it and i do want to keep using it However, I'm having problems because um, I have this and a week's, where's my week's? I have this and this for planning. Um, both of these are fairly small and I'm still struggling with that idea of, um, I can't just like dump all these things and know that I'm not gonna run out of room I need freedom of space, but I need it to not be too big because too big means it gets lost. And so I don't have it with me. It's actually beside my bed, but I did buy a Loic, a Loic term for a, like kind of a scribble notebook or just like a, a notebook last, I think December. And I have loved that thing for just like sketching down things and like just writing things down. Um, but once again, it's kind of like too big, but also not, I don't know, there's no organization to it. And so there's a, 
it's things kind of still get lost in it and I just think that I've been looking for a solution and the Hobonichi Weeks I do love for so many reasons because I love the size of it I love um, the simplicity of it but I don't like that the there are only so many pages in the back of the book for me to use. There's not that many. There's a lot, and I don't ever use all of them, but there's only so many, and so I feel like I can't use them abund abundantly or like wastefully. I don't know if that makes sense, but I don't wanna get a mega because I feel like that would not solve the problem. I would have more pages to use, but I would still feel limited to the book, so hence <laughs> the bullet journal and I think it hasn't really left my mind since I used this notebook this notebook I keep going back to and it's you know two years old but I keep going back to it and looking for things because it was such like I remember this notebook and so <laughs> I had this um, I had this cover I bought it for my weeks um, but I wasn't really using my weeks um, that much. I mean, I am sort of using it, but not, not the way I want to. Not that I want something I wanna be in every day. I just wanna pour myself into it. I just wanna be free to write and write and write if I want to. I want to make notes that I can easily find um, what I'm looking for and I don't want to be limited to a page. I don't want to be limited to the book for the year. You know what I mean? So I started a new bullet journal. It is a Sterling Ink notebook. It is numbered and it is like 500 something pages. I think 520 is the number. Um, yeah, so. <laughs> Here it is, and I have been setting it up for the last like day or so. Um, I have been watching Dylan's class again, so any ideas you see in here probably came directly from her. I have already, I feel like I've already gone a little bit too far into the organizational side of things to where I've set up pages that I'm not really sure, like really sure, that I'll go back to very well. However, I do feel like um, if I keep my daily pages the way that I want to, make notes constantly the way that I want to, then filling out those pages won't really be a problem. I think when I did, I think when I did these, I didn't really understand bullet journaling. I kind of thought bullet journaling was like, you just make your own planner, um, which it's not. <laughs> and, and if you didn't notice, there are like almost no daily pages in these. Um, there are no smart notes or smart bullets or whatever. There's just like weekly spreads, monthly spreads, and like collection pages, but there are no daily pages and I feel like that is a huge missing piece um, that I did have in this one. You notice like a lot of this is um, is like you know bulleted and that's a big that's a big big difference and I did I've never read Ryder Carroll's book bullet journaling I've never wanted to and I don't know why maybe I should um, let me know if you think I should but Dylan's class like kind of breaks it down and I think I needed to hear it from somebody who feel who I feel has a similar brain and a similar job because she is also an artist and has similar struggles as me to like getting things done and stuff so I felt like it was someone like very much like me who has gone ahead and said here's what you need to do Erin like this is going to help you 
And the other thing Dylan is great at is that she talks about how, because it's a bullet journal, you can make a new page anytime. You could just mark out a page and just move on to the next one. And that's hard for some of us who like to have really pretty planners, but I don't care that much. I just want it to work. And so I, I, I do like it to look nice, but I'm also okay with mistakes. Here it is. I'm just gonna do, I mean, there's not a whole lot here. So I've got my index started and I went ahead and saved uh, more pages for that. And I have a future log up until um, March of 2025. And um, I messed up on this page. So I just um, printed out a picture and put it on there. <laughs> I haven't written my goals. I actually put post-its down um, because I thought I might rewrite them on the post-it and then put them in here or I don't know why, I just did. Here is a March log. I am starting this in the middle of the month. This is more for memory type stuff, um, just log logging what happened in the day, and gratitude list. So the idea is, here's like um, a mind map of like what I need to do this week. <laughs> and then this directly comes from Dylan, the art practice log. Um, I mean, completely ripped off from her, okay? So I like this idea, so I'm gonna steal it. And then she also had a page for art and illustration ideas that I um, went ahead and used. I feel like this is a bit much, but it's kind of nice. I, I, might, I probably won't do that again. Um, and then I started my daily page for the day. So that's it so far. And really, I think for me, it's helpful to get the first few pages set up and like lived in a little bit before I can start this sort of thing. I wouldn't want to start this on the first page because I would feel like too loosey-goosey about it or something. I need to kind of ground myself. Um, but I have taken Dylan's key and I think she might have modified her own from Ryder Carol and I, this is her key that I have also used before and I think it works for me too. So I don't plan on changing anything. I can just keep that right there. Have a, a cute little ruler and yeah, that's, that's it. I mean, I have a pen test page as you do and a few more, like this is just sticker paper of some stuff that I printed out just in case I want to cover a page, which is really helpful because when I mess up, it's nice to cover it up with something pretty. And I kind of see this as being just very free to make whatever I want it to be. It is a very large notebook. It's pretty hefty, but here's the great thing about these notebooks is that, and I have already done this several times. Oh, and I fully broke it in. I do the thing where you go like this, front and back, you know, and bend it backwards. And I've done that a good deal. I, um, have also done this, like when I was writing in here, I flipped it around like this so that I can write flat. So I've, I mean, I do this and it makes me feel like I, you know, this is mine. <laughs> this is like, I don't have to be precious with it. If I just carry on doing only daily logging and just like do this sort of thing, that's enough for me because what I need what I need from this planner is a place where I can just get all of this stuff out of my head and onto a, pa a page. And then I can figure out what to do with it later. And that's what I did not have really, is a regular place to go uh, the, in a small enough book that I could have with me all the time, some, somewhere that would just always be there for me to just pour everything out. I can do whatever I want in it and it is a lot of pages, but there's no pressure for me to make this last any amount of time. It's not dated. It doesn't have to be for this year only, but it could also last only six months and that would be fine. There are no limitations with this. And I think that's what I really needed. Here we are, brand new bullet journal. And yeah, so that that's all I have to talk about. I mean, I'm sure that was 
plenty long. I'm gonna give this a good go. All right, I hope you're well. How's your planning going? Are your books working for you? Will I ever find what works? Stay tuned, <laughs> subscribe, and we'll find out together, I guess. All right, I'll see you around. Love you, bye.